Hello everyone, welcome back for more Chalice Dungeons. Today, we're going to be going into Great Ease. Or maybe not, hang on, what the fuck. Oh, I don't even have enough Arcane Haze, that's wonderful. Uh, let's see. Do we have any... Perfect. One of these. And now's the perfect time to use the Arcane Haze Extractor. So let's see. Look at all these wonderful options. Let's see here. We get 10 Arcane Haze for 1 Depth 4 Ritual Blood, which I have 26 of. So yeah, let's uh, pop a couple of those. And boom, that's 20 Arcane Haze right there. So simple, so cheap. And now, I think we're ready. There we go. 11,500 Blood Echoes, 9 Depth 5 Ritual Bloods, 3 Pearl Slugs, which they just so happen to have enough of in the game, and 25 Arcane Haze. Let's fucking do this. Ooh, and it's gonna use up every last Pearl Slug I have, so let's hope it gives me more, otherwise I won't be able to explore those precious Root Dungeons. That I spent an entire fucking month trying to get the fucking eye rune from. So much fun. And everyone say hello to Sarah Troy. She is going to be testing out how well a level 1 character can handle a depth 5 chalice dungeon. She has the lock shield which is especially meant to be used right here in Great Ease. So we'll see how well she can handle herself with a magical sword. Decked out in full plate armor aside from that ugly ass Kanehurst helmet which I fucking despise because it has no fucking eye holes. How the hell do you even see? Just like all the warriors of old who used to explore these chalice dungeons, whose corpses we've been seeing all over the damn place. Oh my god, would you fucking stop, asshole! My turn, for fuck's sakes. You get a three-hit combo, not six. Dick. Gotta say, this uh, great sword here is a little slow. Jesus! It's not looking too good for Sarah so far. That's what you that's what these fucking rats do as soon as you lock onto them. They go around behind so their buddies can have a shot at your back. Alright, a little rough start, but she seems to be holding her own fairly well. Come on out, you little turd. Jesus Christ! Can I get like a fucking number over my head to show me exactly how much that son of a bitch just took off? Yeah, I think upwards of six fucking hundred, holy shit! Scrawniest, weakest, most pathetic fucking enemy in the entire Chalice Dungeon ripped off more than half my fucking health in one damn swing. What the fuck? Hmm. Uh-oh, she doesn't have a magic stick. This could be bad. OK, 
Okay, I need to be careful here. <sighs> okay, interruptions. <laughs> Can you please get away from that fucking thing? Need something a little faster. Now this is a property unique to great ease. Uh, a messenger teleporter, which basically sends you to a set location elsewhere in the same area. So if you're like in a bonus area, it's not going to transport you to the main dungeon or another bonus area. And if it's in the main dungeon area, it, it, within the same area. Usually about four or five rooms away, but still the same dungeon area that you are exploring. And this is Sarah's alternative weapon. Needs something a little faster than that bulky ass greatsword. Two ninety one with it and two eighty two without it. These guys are fairly resistant to arcane magic, so no surprise that it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Just make sure you don't let these guys bite you, otherwise your frenzy buildup will uh, kick in and it won't stop until you either pop, drink a sedative, or save out of the game. That's a trick I learned. You can save and quit out of the game to cancel frenzy buildup. Where are you? God almighty, you stupid bitch! Yeah, you definitely want to visceral attack these guys to kill them, because once they get down to half health, they start using their paralysis magic, and that's gonna fuck you over in a big damn hurry. I really wish I could just get rid of that fucking message. But yeah, she does have a gun. There are times when you need to parry. I generally like to uh, fully explore a dungeon area before I go hopping onto a friggin' teleporter. Oh, I think I did. Yeah, it's probably gonna, it's most likely gonna send me into this room. Which, if I hadn't already been here and killed all the rats, would be a fucking nightmare. So let's hop in and see where we go. But as you can see, if you, like, graze past the edge of it... Yeah, there we go. If you graze the edge of those things, they will appear without uh, actually grabbing you. The problem with navigating Great E is that everything here is so much so brightly colored compared to other dungeons that a lot of it tends to blend together and you kind of have a hard time telling what you're looking at. Especially with the way that glowing mist kind of hangs in the air. Being a uh, strength arcane build, she uses all the arcane shit. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, a balcony! Which means there's a bonus area. Oh, I hear someone. And someone running around who must be either directly above or below me. Jeez. This thing's got strength and arcane scaling. You think you'd be doing more damage than this.
Because I don't think the arcane scaling kicks in until you have it transformed. No trap. Okay. Let's do a comparative analysis here. It's going to be a trap. Yes! I could actually see those candles on the floor before they lit up. Never noticed that before. Guess I need to be more observant. Just gotta make sure and wait until your dodging animation is completely over. That was rather easy. Depth 5. I think I know what room that's going to send me to, and it's full of people with guns and dogs. Or no, wait, that's root dungeons. Guys with guns and dogs are a major problem in root dungeons. You'll, you'll see. I will show you everything. Nope. Say 58 versus okay. Forty-seven. Okay, he coughed up a little something. And two ninety-one. Oh god, we've got fucking spiders. Spiders and larvae, and God help me, these fucking things. Over here, you little turd. It is downright scary how little fucking damage I am doing to you. PLEASE FUCKING MOVE YOUR ASS! God all fucking mighty. Do not get corner fucked by these goddamn dogs. That one. Your mind, you mongrel turd. That one, for fuck sakes. You make up your fucking mind! Oh god, get up, for fuck's sakes, get up. 
Get up! Move! 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 Fucking move! Jesus Christ, move! Not showing a lot of promise here, Sarah. Good fucking God. Do that again. Thank you. It's nice when things go my way for a fucking change. Yeah, you'd think uh, 40 Strength and 40 Arcane with a plus 10 Holy Moonlight Sword would be doling out a little more damage than this. The floor's kind of fucked around these balconies sometimes. But then again, those were demon dogs we're dealing with, and they have a habit of being a gigantic pain in the ass. Not quite as much as uh, normal dogs, given their penchant for follow-up attacks. But still, far from fun. I already did that. I already went there. I'm pretty sure I already did this. Or is this the way I came? Yep. Oh, wait, let's see where the teleporter goes to. It sends me right into the middle of that fucking room where I was just in. With the demon dogs and the spiders and the fucking keeper. Doesn't it? There's the damn door. Yeah. This would have been hell on earth right here to be sent into the middle of that fucking room with all those guys. Just pull the fucking plug right then and there. Where's the door? I think at this point, Sarah has at least proven herself viable. No, you don't, you little shit. Excuse me, Beast Roar. How about you fucking work? Ah! Oh, fuck. I don't know what the fuck just happened there. I thought for sure he was gonna grab my ass. Okay, that didn't work. You 
enjoy that little eyeball on your brain, you shithead. Kind of surprised that I designed this character to go into a Depth 5 Chalice Dungeon without giving her a fucking healing weapon to use. Oh wait, there it is. <laughs> I found it. 